Hi there and welcome to this quick tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to export GPX tracks out of your workouts from your Apple Watch to your computer. Now you know that if you track a workout using the Apple Watch and you synchronize your Apple Watch to your iPhone then you will see your workout summary under the activity application on the iPhone. So if I go ahead and I check for example October 27, you see my rings and there is a workout summary hiking 3.69 km. Now if you go down you see I have a lot of uh, information like heart rate splits and so on and I have a map. Now this is a very cool map here and I definitely want to work with this in some software which is able to import it. However if I click on export I get some export options and but the only thing I will really export here is this I hide for 3.68 km with the workout app on my Apple Watch which is not very useful right so we want to get the full track exported. There are some apps which allow you to export tracks but you have to pay for them however interestingly enough there is a way to export your workout without paying a single dollar. Now just go back to your main screen on the iPhone and open the health app. Now in the health app you need to click on your profile picture up here and then click on export all health data from the app and I will be asked if you really want to export your data and this takes a few moments, indeed it does. So click on export and you will see that export health data is preparing. Now my favorite way to send this, this information to my computer is to use the airdrop which is very convenient. You click on airdrop and then just click on MacBook, in this case on my MacBook and then you see I receive an item from my iPhone. If I open this item you will see I have this Apple Health export folder where I have several XML files and I have these workout routes. Now if I click on workout routes you see I have several GPX traces inside my workout routes. And the way I can use these traces is for example by using Google Earth. So I just start Google Earth, which is what you see here in the background, and I get my regular view of the world centered in Europe because this is where I live. Now if I do open and you see I have all my workouts here and I can select the track which I prefer for example, let's take this one we were looking before, this hiking. I do open and then I use, I like the option creating KML tracks and adjust attitudes, that's my favorite settings. Um, I don't recommend KML line strings unless you want it. So just click on OK and the track is now important in Google Earth. And you see I have my nice route tracked here directly on the satellite images. You see I've been hiking up from the Spitzing say to Tabenstein mountain. And now that I have my track I can move around in the world, in the 3D world. You see I can pan, I can zoom, I can rotate, I can tilt, I can do whatever I want. Now this is a full track and you see it's even a 3D track as you see because the track is actually going up the mountain. And what's even cooler uh, now by using Google Earth but even using other kinds of apps that this track is also animated because it has a timestamp for every single moment you have been hiking in this case or walking or running or whatever. So you can click on toggle time slider and you will see a nice animation which is showing you your track while you go uphill. And interesting enough you see here I've been stopping for a while because actually I've been stopping for a while while hiking. So check this out, you get your old track. This is really cool and it's all for free. So feel free to use this trick as much as you like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like, like the video or leave a comment with your comments below. Thanks for watching!